Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at Unreal Engine 4.26, the brand new release from the folks at Epic Games. Now this release is one of the biggest releases so far. Now there are tons and tons of updates to this one and you know we're just gonna go through and talk about most of them now some of the things that they are focusing on which are part of the brand new features that you'll be getting and of course they are setting experimental features which are mouth watering that will be coming include things like water we also have some very cool updates that has to do with hair and then there are also some very lovely sky cloud and environment lighting features that are now released with this new version so let's simply go over to the release notes so that we can take a look at some of the things that you guys will be able to get first things first hair for feather are ready for production so if you're into making hair for and feather simulations then you will definitely going to find this one very interesting as there are some very premium and cool tools that now exist in unreal engine that you can use to style groom and also do some very lovely stuff of course unreal engine is not like you know a hair creation tool but for sure you can edit you can render and you can do can get the most out of your hair with this particular release now moving forward there is a sky cloud and environment lighting updates to this and this comes with both volumetric cloud it comes with sky atmosphere components and also real-time sky you know lights capture so if you are into any of this uh, probably you want to stylize your scene you want to get you know that realistic cloud that realistic sky or maybe you are into environment lighting you're definitely going to find this one quite quite interesting now one of the things with this particular section is there's an update to the atmospheric fogs as well and then there is light mixing so for those who like to mix lights and get some very cool things out of it there is an environment light mixer that now exists with unreal engine 4.26 you'll be able to now mix your sky atmosphere you can mix your skylight and your directional light as well now there's also something Else, which is still in its experimental stage but for sure this is going to come in very handy for a lot of people so for those who are into water simulation and those who like to do water rendering there is now a water rendering and meshing system that is presently in its experimental stage now this one is you know brand new and you can actually see that it's already in action and this water plugin actually makes use of an existing landmass plugin in order to let water body actor interact with terrain surfaces using the non-destructive layer editing using the non-destructive landscape edit layer feature so you can literally now start painting water around your scene and you can add direct these things by yourself now the water rendering and shading feature is also something that is right here and it also compensates with the fact that we also have this amazing water rendering and meshing system so it's just very interesting to see that this is not the only thing that you get for the water as it also supports caustics and there's a caustic generation tool which you know simply helps you to define and render your own caustic materials in your scene and moving away from all of the water stuff that we have here there is also a movie rendering queuing workflow and this right now is in its beta stage so for those who would like to do some you know movies directly in unreal engine or you would like to do some animation and get these things happening there is a brand new movie rendering queuing workflow which you can simply use to queue up certain scenes and maybe certain shots and get them rendering while you focus on other things that matter and this comes with a couple of other cool stuff that you might want to work with and while we're still talking about things that deals with pictures and rendering there is a cool update to that so there is a color output setting which you can now use to define the color and the color types that you want and there are render pass supports that you can also get while rendering your stuff so for the render passes there is the z depth the world position the world normal ambient occlusion and also reflection now these are not just the only things that you would be able to have right now as there is also a very cool support for pro media codecs so those who like to render stuff in apple prores or maybe you would like to work with multi-channel exr you will definitely find these you know very very lovely and going all the way down there is also an update to the non-linear animation sequencer right now this tool is also in its beta so for those who would like to animate stuff and maybe you would like to also do things like retargeting transfer setting animation clips or work with multi animation clips right now you will be able to easily do this so you can import control animation onto control rigs in 
sequencer and do some very cool rigging with both FBX files and also files that you can directly transfer using the live link feature that exists with Unreal Engine to several DCC apps. So for those who would like to see the video that we covered for Unreal Engine, you know, from Blender to Unreal Engine, there's going to be a link in the description so you can do well to check this out. And for the end display, there are improvements and updates to the end display and also right now Unreal Engine now supports multi GPU. So if you would like to work with, you know, Nvidia MV Link, yep, you can now get the most out of it. And those who would also like to play with end display for doing things like, you know, big walls and you would like those walls to be like your cinematic walls for movies and stuff, just like they're using in Industrial Light and Magic. Yes, you can now take advantage of this and start doing some very lovely, lovely things. Now, those who are also interested in using this for doing things like wall displays and wall art and wall animations, yes, you can also use this one as it also comes with an experimental projection tool and there is also a dome projection that also comes with this. So going all the way down because there's tons and tons of updates right here, there is also a collaborative viewer template improvement. So for those who would like to collaborate and maybe you, you know, since the world is right now in a pandemic state and everybody seems to be working from home, you can now easily collaborate across the globe. Now this one is very, very useful and I know a lot of people will probably find this feature worthy to work with. All the way down, there are tons and tons and tons of stuff. There is uh, an update which I would like to show you guys and yes, this is the one for chaos. So we've talked about chaos before and right now there are certain updates that is coming with the beta release for this particular version. And this includes like the chaos urban, the chaos cloak, the chaos ragdoll and also the chaos destruction. So there is an experimental video which you will be taking a look at and you can simply use this for a lot of things. Now, one of the places which I'm quite excited about what the folks at Epic Games are doing is the fact that they have started integrating modeling tools into Unreal Engine. So we've covered this when it first showed up in Unreal Engine 4.24, 4.25, somewhere around there. But now we are seeing that there is an improvement to the mesh creation tools. So for those who like to do things like lofting, you know, you might want to be able to do some revolving around your mesh by simply creating a spline. Right now, you can now see that there is a feature like that that also works. So we're also going to cover all of these things later. And you can see that there's a feature like this that works. For those who like to play with primitive creations, we've already covered this one. There's a video about that in the description so you can check it out. And there is also some updates to the modeling. So things that has to do with improved mirroring is there. There is also updates to the boolean and there are updates to improved mesh editing. So these are some of the very lovely things which I would like to try out as well. And there are improved sculpting tools. So for those who like to sculpt directly in Unreal Engine, these are some very key and nice features that you will definitely, you know, love to play with. There is also a USD live actor and stage importer. So for those who are experimenting with USD, and I think we have talked about USD severally on the channel, but we have haven't really done a walkthrough on how you can get started with it so probably we would go ahead and do something like that sometime in the future so you guys can see how to bring in your usd files directly from either you know blender once it gets implemented in blender but for sure you know houdini actually has that feature right now in maya so we'll probably do a walkthrough on how you can actually work with that so all the way down there is a virtual camera import there's just a huge huge set of features and updates that are now here so for those who would like to you know grab a fresh copy of unreal engine you can simply download the unreal launcher or the epic games launcher and download yourself a fresh copy now the reason why we're not doing a walkthrough right now is because we are still downloading this preview version so once this is available we're also going to do you know the most and play with these features and see how they work there's also you know things that has to do with control rigs we've looked at this before all right so we've looked at this one and this is actually one that excites me which i would like to look at which is a full body IK node and all the way down there's a gpu light mass and down here you'd also notice that there is now an implementation to lidar point cloud improvement so all of these things are pretty cool features that are now available in unreal engine so for those who like to you know play with all of these features like for example the nikigara high quality particles yeah for those who like to play with these things or maybe you would like to do some ar you might simply want to go over to link in the description download the epic games launcher and start installing these so there is a ton and tons of supports and you can see the platforms that are now being supported there's also the updates for you know the playstation 5 and also the xbox series x so these are some of the cool things that are here. There are tons of bug fixes and also a couple of new features that couldn't even be listed. So this is definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about these in the comment section. Of course, later on, we're going to cover a couple of these things as either individual video or as one compressed video. 
so you can take a look at them and see how to implement them in your next project tell me what you guys think about these in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace